Some people would say he's the GOAT. He's the greatest of all time. Others, others didn't really like him too much. The kids loved him. I'm talking about the one, the only, John Cena. Now, this past weekend at the WWE Premium Live event, Money in the Bank, I believe it was coming from Toronto, Canada, uh, John Cena appeared. And he announced that in uh, 2025, that's it. He's done. He's retiring from in-ring competition. So, I guess it's enjoy him while he's still around. I mean, he is going to appear, according to this article I just pulled from Cosmic Book News, he is going to appear next year at the Royal Wumble, Elimination Chamber, WrestleMania 41 in Vegas. Some people were saying WrestleMania 41 was going to be it, but not so fast, my friends. John has announced that he is going to be wrestling the entirety of 2025. So come December 31st, 2025, that's it. That's all she wrote on a, I believe it's a 22-year career in the WWE, beginning with that first match way back in 2003 against Kurt Angle on SmackDown. When Kurt Angle asked John Cena, what makes you think you can compete with me? I'm paraphrasing there. And John Cena said, Ruthless aggression. And I believe Cena, I can't remember exactly if Cena won that match or if he came close to winning that match. He gave Kurt Angle a run for his money. But you also have to, you know, with, with some of the things going on within the WWE with um, the deal with Netflix, we're in January 2025 Raw is going to be shown on Netflix on Mondays. You would probably have to expect that John Cena is going to be a regular fixture on Raw throughout 2025. I mean, he did say, and it's according to this article here, he's going to make somewhere around 30 to 40 appearances next year, which with his acting schedule, that's, that's quite a load. Now, the question that I have and the question that others have posed is John Cena is currently tied with Ric Flair being a 16-time world champion. Are we going to see a 17th title run for John Cena in his final year in the ring? Would the WWE, sorry about that, would they dare put the world title on John Cena for a 17th time so he could be the record holder for most world championship reigns? Share your opinion. Comment down below. Now, he is still going to be starring in The Peacemaker, which season two is supposed to arrive in 2025. So. It makes kind of sense that Cena's going to make a few appearances for the WWE because it would give him a chance to promote his show. Um, I'm sure he's probably got another movie or two lined up. I haven't really looked into that. My focus in this video was to just focus on the fact that John Cena is retiring from in-ring competition at the end of 2025. And one last thing. Just because he's retiring from in-ring competition doesn't mean he's not going to be involved with the WWE. He made it known in the press conference afterwards, or I should say in the media scrum after Money in the Bank, that he's still going to be involved behind the scenes. So we shall see. Now, one person... And I'd be remiss if I didn't bring this up. One person who took a little bit of an interest in 
the announcement of John Cena retiring was one and only CM Punk. Who stated in the same media scrum after Money in the Bank that he'll bring he'll be the one to bring John out of retirement in 10 years <laughs> for a match. And Punk also said he'd like to be seen as last match in the WWE. So there you have it. John Cena announces his retirement. I for one thought that his character got a little stale with everything. Um, I thought at some point he probably should have gone back to being a heel just to refresh his character a little bit, but I got to say, I got to admit, I got to admire the fact that he stuck to his guns through all the ups and downs with the fans. Like I said, the kids loved him, the grownups, not so much, but he stayed true to himself, which is something you can't say for a lot of people that are in celebrity these days, even in the WWE. So kudos to John. Kudos on a great career. Hope 2025 is amazing for you, and I hope things uh, work out well for you in your future endeavors after your retirement. So comment down below. Tell me what you think. What do you think about John Cena making this announcement that he's retiring from in-ring competition at the end of 2025? While you're at it, please take the time to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. Share this out there with your friends and family. With that, I will see you guys later.